Welcome to Car Audio Fabrication, the show that reveals the secrets and mysteries of car audio and teaches you techniques to take your installs to the next level. I'm your host, Mark. As you guys well know, we are beginning another build. This is very exciting stuff, as this time we're going to be working on a Chevrolet Duramax HD, which is an awesome pickup truck. It's going to be extended cab, and just so you guys know what I'm intending on planning to do as one of the first steps is door pods. So what I've been doing the last couple of weeks uh, in the time that I haven't released a video, sorry about that, but you guys just keep messaging me, wanting to know what the next video is about. We definitely are gonna be doing the door pods, so don't worry, we're gonna be doing them. But in the meantime, I'm amassing all sorts of stuff for this build. I got wiring coming in, I got a bunch of wire care products coming in with our new show sponsor, Wire Care. You can check them out here. And I also have some different gear coming in. Uh, we have new amplifier coming in. I'm gonna be reusing some of the gear from the pre existing build but we got some new stuff coming in too, so it's gonna be exciting. Also, so you guys know, I have all sorts of fiberglass materials coming in. So, a lot of times when I've been looking around at some of the different fiberglassing videos online, I've seen a lot of reoccurring questions uh, about fiberglass, like what weight ch chop mat do I need? Um, what kind of resin do I need to get? So this is all things that we're gonna be covering. So I know this isn't a tutorial video that you guys love and that has really helped my channel grow, but the tutorial videos are coming. So if you're a new subscriber, definitely stay tuned. Uh, this episode though, I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of the wiring products that we've got from our friends over at newconcepts.com. We definitely got some exciting gear that's gonna be going into this build. And I, I know that it's nice to see products like in HD video quality before you actually purchase them. So that's what this video is going to do. Let's get started. All right, so I've already opened my box up, and this is definitely one of my favorite things about new concepts is they always ship priority mail. So what this means for you is even across the country, as they are in Ohio, you're probably, like say you're in California and you order something, you're probably going to get it in three days, maybe four days at the most. But it always comes pretty quick. What's nice is these guys will actually send you a shipping confirmation basically right after you place your order. So you know that you're gonna get your product quickly. Now, as you can see, we have a nice pile of stuff here. Let's go through some of it. All right, let's start with this bad RS power wire. Here we have here, zero gauge. This is uh, New Concepts KCA cable. It's actually copper clad aluminum, I can't talk, aluminum cable. But what's nice about New Concepts is, I mean, this is true zero gauge. So even though it's copper clad aluminum, they make sure that they give you enough wire strands in here that you're still getting the same amount of power transfer as any other zero gauge cable. So I got 17 feet of this. Oh, and this is what else is awesome about this. This stuff is extremely, extremely flexible. I mean, you're not gonna have any problem one, wiring under your carpets or anything like that. I mean, that's flexible right there. Crazy. Stuff's pretty heavy too, I like it. Now here we also have a GM side post adapter. Now these are nice, if you guys have a GM car, you know that oftentimes the battery post is actually on the side of the battery. Now why this is important is you don't wanna be one of those guys that tries to sandwich one of your terminals like this underneath the pre-existing wire terminal. You need to get one of these. And they're actually really cheap. Let me look real quick, can't remember. That was actually $4, $4, that's a good deal, you guys. Now we've got some of our RCA cables here. What's nice about this is they, they ship everything individually packaged like this. So you know that nothing's rubbing against each other and scratching each other. And I know, yeah, it's just RCA cables, like who really cares, right? But I like to have my gear be as perfect as possible. So you can see they even take the time to really protect all the connectors like so. So this is actually part of their Karma series line. And uh, I believe this is, yeah, this is the six meter length so more than plenty long enough to run back to the amplifiers. Now, in order to match the Karma Series RCA cables, we actually got Karma Series speaker wire here. This is 12 gauge wire, so really nice and hefty. And as you can see, both of the conductors are conveniently packaged uh, within this one round uh, insulation. So what I like about it being round is I find that it just uh, it doesn't roll over on itself like when you have the two wires that are next to each other like this a lot of times they'll twist and it, it kind of ends up just bunching up on itself and being weird. I like the round cable a lot better. It also uh, comes together a lot better um, when you put it in TechFlex or when you strap multiple wires uh, together with zip ties. So as you can see it also matches their RCA cables which is pretty nice. 
Now we've also got some of their male to female connectors here. This is what it actually looks like once you take it out of the bag. Nothing crazy, but once again, it matches their Karma line. I like that everything actually matches. So this would be able to allow us, um, we're actually going to bridge uh, the channels on the four channel amplifier to the front speakers. We're just gonna run the back speakers off head unit power, but we wanna send tons of power to the front speakers. So we'll be bridging those. So in order to do so, uh, we'll be actually using, using these male to female adapters on the amplifier. Now, if you guys have been subscribers for a while, you guys have seen uh, this bad boy right here, the KNF60. Um, I have a full review video about this. This is the future right here of car audio distribution blocks. Let's get this box out of the way real quick. But this is a fully configurable distribution block that allows for any different configuration. Uh, you can change these in and out to have different sizes, but we're actually gonna be doing all of our power on one side and all of our ground on the other side. So this is gonna be a really nice clean install brought to you by New Concepts. And finally, we have a nice mini a &L inline fuse adapter. So now you guys have seen all the great wiring products that are going to be going into this build. So definitely stay tuned. Check out some of my other videos in the meantime. Uh, if you guys are new to the channel, there's definitely tons of fiberglass tutorials, uh, custom tutorials already. Um, I'll link a few of my favorites down in the description below. And as always, at the end of the video, we're going to have a featured video as well as the previous video. So be sure to check those out. Stay tuned in, guys, and keep it loud. Woo! Welcome to Car Radio Fabrication. This is a sound check, and I'm sure it's going to be staticky as f